take exit 52 onto exit What's happening everybody? Well, fish happens right behind me. It's a new fish store and we're gonna go check it out. This is Fish Happens Indy and today is their grand opening and my buddy Tyler gave me the opportunity to come record their store. So I am very excited to do this and give you guys a tour. They have quite a bit of parking space out here, which is good. It's right off the highway. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. As you walk in on the right, they have this pond display right here. Um, this is about a 300 gallon. My buddy Tyler said they did have some catfish in here, but I think they might have some goldfish in there too right now. I got a few aisles here and their focus here is freshwater fish now they just got started they have plenty plenty of aquatic plants and house plants some good looking fish Look at the size of these jungle valve plants. Now, I don't know if these ones in specific are for sale, but I'm sure they're gonna have some for sale. I think this was a really neat addition they added for the floor space that they have. They done a glow in the dark room. So we're gonna go in here and uh, check that out. I got some little glowy uh, decorations and stuff you can get for your tank so you can set yours up to glow. And then they got their set up, some different displays, how you could do it. And then of course they have some glow fish that you can purchase. But yeah, this was really cool, and I hope they do more with it. I'm sure eventually they might have some axolotls in here that are glow type, and any type of glow fish that you can have, I'm sure they will eventually get set up in here. They have some good looking compressor sets over here, African hats, and the price on those guys are only, well you can't see that, but they're only $12.97 y'all, don't be sleeping on these fish. Some good looking Africans, peacocks. And again, house plants everywhere, y'all. This, I think, is Monstra. I could be wrong, but I believe that is what that plant is called. I have to say one thing I like about this already is all of the live plants throughout all of the tanks. It really looks good and healthy and inviting. Got some Oscars up here. What up, dude? If you wanted to set up a tank and you really had no idea what to do, you can't go wrong with a bunch of yellow labs. They're so pretty. Have a Chinese high fin shark and some angels. That shark is $29.99 and the angel is $8.99.
We have some adults for $16. There's some good looking fish. Again, everybody, this is in Beach Grove, Indiana. Right outside of Indianapolis. Got some good looking giant Danios over here and they're only $4.99 a piece, guys. These make awesome dither fish. If you're not aware of what a dither fish is, I'm sure I've done a video on it, but in short, they distract other fish from picking on your smaller fish and stuff. They have celestial pearl danios for only $8.99. Now, when I ordered mine on Aquahuna, I think I was paying almost $14 a fish, so that's pretty good prices there. Look at these beauties, some tiger flecos. They got $69 even on these guys. They sure are pretty. These butterfly loaches are really good size. And I believe they have them for $14.99. Nice planted tank down there. I'm guessing all those plants are for sale. We'll check that out on the other side. some of the monsters they got right now. I got these King Kong parrots. They are quite tempting. I think they got $70 on them, which ain't too bad at that size because it takes a while to get any kind of blood parrot to a good thick size. They also got a Columbia catfish somewhere in here. Got some convicts, a mean little fire mouth there. He's pretty cool. What up, Vic? Let's see a rainbow cichlid in there. A big old Jack Dempsey hiding. They have Axolotl Island. They got a bunch of baby axolotls in here. They're so adorable. For those of you that don't know about axolotls, they require cold, cold temperatures. They do not need a heater, but they can only be kept with other axolotls or expect uh, some guppies to get eaten as food. Down here, they have some glow ones, you can tell. This is kind of neat. This is their live aquatic plants display. So you can buy your little plants up right out of here. Some good looking plants, nice and green. All right, the fish that took my heart today, everybody, are these little puffers. They are so stinking cute. They got leopard puffers for $12.99, and they got figured eight puffers for $12.99. Now these fish are freshwater, but will eventually convert to brackish. <clears throat> so they will need salt mixed into their water, but they can get away with fresh water for a couple years anyhow. Got some panda quarries for $10.99, folks. And this beautiful planted lush tank. Looks like they got a little bit of uh, fish food and some dry goods. Uh, we got plant booster grow juice. So that's obviously going to be a fertilizer for your plants to help your plants grow. 
so you can have that green thumb. Some good looking bristle nose plecos. Look at the baby cribenses. Aren't they so cute? The little bitty cribs. And then over here, you're gonna have a cute little shrimpy. Look at that dude. Hold up, let's get some focus. Subwasa tang. That is one of my favorite plants. Well, folks, their focus is freshwater fish, and they have everything from community fish all the way up to predatory monsters. They keep their products well kept, healthy looking fish. They offer a variety of plants, aquatic plants and house plants which is a really nice touch the shop is really nice and well kept i'd have to say i was overall impressed y'all definitely need to go check them out for sure and if you do let them know you found them through this video thanks for watching stay casual and and where did this happen?